Yeah, good morning to you, Michelle Ryan. Well, this is a caustic leak is what public safety is telling us or corrosive liquid leak. So let me show you that leak because this is what it's looking like this morning coming out of the side of the U.S. Steel Tower building on Grand Street. Now, as my crews were on scene last night, this all starting around seven o'clock. Pittsburgh Public Safety says the leak started after a contractor drilled a hole into a column that is filled with fire protection fluid. We're told from Pittsburgh Public Safety that three people, including two police officers, were treated at the scene for minor exposures due to that liquid being a possible skin irritant. Now, as you mentioned, Michelle, they say it is not a danger to the public. Public safety saying this is not dangerous to the general public. Now, we don't have a timeline, timeline quite yet on how long it will take to seal this leak, but we're bringing you back here live again, taking a look at that. I can tell you that I see police blocking off the ramp uh, leading towards Sixth Avenue. Of course, once we get a timeline uh, of when that leak will be sealed and further information, I'll pass it your way. Live this morning from downtown, I'm Tori Orgy for Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Tori, thank you.